Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my second day exploring Penghu, Taiwan. Don't forget to check out my first day here if you missed that video. Today, we will be heading out to islands south of the main island Magong. These areas are famous for their snorkeling and coral reefs. First up, we have to start with breakfast at the hotel. And after filling our stomachs, we left the hotel and walked for about five minutes to the South Visitor Center, which is where most of these tours you book online start at on the island. And this is the boat that we're going to be taking today. I feel like it's a pretty full tour. It's sold out online now, right? When we looked? Okay, yeah. 2,600 NTD per person. Okay. A little bit worried it might get a little rough the lady yesterday said um, on the tour that it might be a little bit rougher than normal we're prepared we have some nice bags here waiting for us yeah. seasick bags trash, trash can and uh, we just popped uh, some motion sickness medicine so pray for us we're gonna make it we're gonna make it spoiler alert we didn't get seasick the first island we are going to today is called Dong Yuping. This is part of the Penghu Southern Four Island National Park. The coral reef, located just under a 15 minutes walk from the pier, is protected from fishing. The only way to get to this small island is through a tour or private chartered boats. All right, we're just getting a little guided tour around this island. But basically, these are the old ruins. People don't really live here in the old ones anymore, but people do live in these ones. We used to have 34 of them. About 600 people lived here. Wow. And now they all moved to Taiwan or Penghu. Yeah. And now there's only a couple of them stayed. Oh, uh, okay. Since it's a three, level three uh, property here, it's really hard to get anything. Oh, it's level three. It's level three. That's what they said? Because it's so far away from the main town so it's hard to get Very any true. and it's probably expensive stuff. too I think we're going over there to get the snorkeling gear that will come again tomorrow place became famous because of the purple coral reef and in English it is called the purple lavender forest or underwater purple lavender forest they said that you shouldn't put sunscreen on your body uh, before you enter the water because it can like disrupt the coral and everything that's in the ocean around here. So we're gonna be putting on wetsuits to help, you know, keep warm, but also preserve the coral. Because these waters are protected, the coral and underwater life here are some of the most beautiful in Taiwan. The Marine National Park headquarters also set up mooring floats in 2015 to provide boats in the area to dock and secure themselves. That way it will prevent them from anchoring and destroying the coral reef. With the islands being quite isolated and the waters also crystal clear, Many divers come to the area to swim with the various species of coral reefs. The most popular attraction being the purple staghorn coral. So what they do is essentially have you hang on to this little styrofoam thing here and you drift. The guide will take you out um, to the lavender forest and then you can see safely without like touching the coral or diving or hitting it because you know, trying to preserve it. And it's so beautiful. We're not even like all the way there yet and I'm already like, oh my God, it's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. The fish are like so neon. I had no idea Taiwan was like this. As I mentioned, it is now deemed underwater purple lavender forest. The coral itself is not actually purple. It is blue, but when the sun shines through the water and it reflects onto the staghorn coral, it shines as a purple color, thus getting its online reputation as a purple lavender forest. We're all finished, heading back to the shore. We were like, it feels so heavy. I forgot how to use my lens. <laughs> Ruth was like, where am I? <laughs> where am I? It's like gravity comes back, you know? Well, now we just got to give all the gear back. 
After snorkeling, we're gonna have some lunch. It looks like it's like a noodle. We got just like a fish cake. There's some octopus and then some shrimp. We're just chilling in the sun. Everyone's in the shade. Everyone else brought a change of clothes. Rookie mistake. Mm -hmm. We did not. So we're trying to dry. <laughs> Air dry. And we put sunscreen on. SPF 50. Mm -hmm. My pale ass needs it. Show your forehead. <laughs> I don't know if they can see. Do you guys see my lines? I'm gonna put a hat on. We are just doing like the rest of the tour for the island. We're just gonna <laughs> walk around. <laughs> and uh, I think there's a view from the top of the mountain out of the ocean. The man said it's really beautiful because the sun came out, which is great because yesterday when we checked, it was supposed to be very moody weather. <laughs> 40% chance of raining. Yeah. Storming. Exactly. And he's saying that there's like homestays that you can stay on the island. Uh, just that there's no AC. It's right over there. Yeah, I think it's this one, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely hot in Pangu. Hotter than. Oh! I heard a goat. <laughs> <laughs> there is a goat. <gasps> Look at the little baby white one at the end. Oh my god. Take it slow, don't be gentle. I just gotta know if you're gonna leave me, then just do it. We are heading. Back to the boat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> coach is back yeah. And I asked how many people actually live on this island, and they said it was 20, right? Yeah, 20. Yeah. But There's no elementary school kids, but there is anymore. a school. Nah. It's not running. It's not running anymore. Yeah. And here we are, back to our boat, and off to the next destination. So from the caves you can see over here, apparently they said that this is a ghost boat. So it drifted in. It drifted here last year and this is the ghost boat. Alright, we're on the last stop of the tour. This is Dongji. Dongji. This is Dongji Island. <laughs> This is Dongji. This is Dongji Island. What would I do without Ruth? We made a rookie mistake. We did not bring water on this trip, so we just stopped to get some water. It's only 20 bucks. Yeah, only 20 dollars. Oh my god, this hits the spot. Can I get some cactus ice cream? Mm. Is it good? Mm. Tima. <laughs> All right, so we are actually gonna go to the Dongji Lighthouse and not with the other tour. We separate it, but we have some nice, young, lovely tour guides. They're gonna take us. How nice! Because <laughs> we were like, "Where is it? Where is it?" We were with them the whole day. So, excuse me. Do you have my sandals? Did anyone claim some sandals that are not theirs? About 30 years ago, there was a plane crash here on this island. It's right there and there's about seven people on. They managed to land the plane safely so nobody died, but that's, that's the rest of it. So the information on the sign says, Dongji Lighthouse is the second lighthouse that Japanese built in Penghu Island during Japanese colonial period. It is the highest at about 24.4 meters. The lighthouse is an important indicator for vessels traveling through Penghu Channel and the Taiwan Strait. This structure is also made of iron. This is from the backside of the lighthouse. Wow. Seems like this island uses solar power. Oh my gosh. Hi, baby. I am in heaven with all these goats. The island itself 
is an odd beauty. Once bustling with over 3,000 inhabitants, it's now home to only a few families. I think the goats now outnumber the people. We got lucky with the smooth boat ride in the morning because on the way back to the main island Magong, waters were rough due to a small storm rolling in. We made it and now we're walking back to the hotel. It's just four minutes walking. So we freshened up, we got ready to go out and literally it's like an hour and a half later because I was like, Ruth, I'm just gonna like close my eyes for a little bit. We fell asleep. We're starting our night off at the Wave House. We were here yesterday, we got the cactus slushy with the ice cream and it was so good and the guy was so nice so we decided to come back. You got mung. Mung bean. Mung um, bean. Milk shake guys. Okay. And of course I just got regular <laughs> shikwa. The dude was so nice, he like recommended some restaurants to us. He said this restaurant that we are about to go, it just opened not too long ago. How'd you drink? It's really, you want, would you like to try it? Ma li do sa niu nai. Mm, it's good. It's like really tastes like beans. Mm -hmm. We secured a nice little seat at the back of the restaurant here at Sunla. I'm gonna get a drink made with the cactus puree. So cactus is famous in Penghu, you see it everywhere. One other thing I think that is super cute about this place is that over on the other side of the restaurant, they have like a little area that you can sit and it's like a, you have your own little picnic with friends and it looks so Instagram worthy. That's what I wanna say. This place looks so Instagram worthy. So actually this place is only open for 14 days when we came here. So I think they will have a kitchen, but right now they don't have a kitchen. So we ordered on a breeze and you can do that and eat inside here. These microfiber cloths are my favorite thing to travel with. You literally just get it wet with warm water, gently massage it and then all your makeup will just come right off. It is 10.14. And we are about to hit the hay. I just want to say thank you to all the people who like put up with me. <laughs> I'm so extra when you're filming. You're like, okay, wait, do this, do that, do this, do that. And I just appreciate it. Especially my gal friend here. Thanks, Ruth. <laughs> so patient, y'all. She is a trooper. Hi guys, and welcome to the budget part of the video. I like to make these budgets so people can plan accordingly if they make their own trip to wherever it is that I go, whether it's Nanto, Yilan, Penghu. All of those videos have budgets at the end of them, as well as I will share the currency exchange rate to some countries at the end. I guess I will begin with the most expensive purchase of the day, which is the tour itself. So the tour, we went to multiple different islands. We've seen different things, lunch was included. We also went snorkeling. That was 2,600 NTD per person, which is about 92 American dollars, 111 Canadian dollars, 10,150 yen, about 123 Singaporean dollars, and all of these other currencies right here. So that was the biggest purchase of the day. The rest we just did like some food, some drinks, and a little bit of transportation in cabs. We took transportation, it came to 210 NTD, divided by two is 105 NTD. And then the food came out to about 900 NTD, which divided by two is 450 NTD each. So the total is 3,155 NTD, which is about 112 US dollars, 135 Canadian dollars, 150 Singapore dollars, 12,300 Japanese yen, and all of these currencies that you see here. Do you guys see your currency? Can you find it? I hope you can find it. If you cannot, please relate to another currency that you might recognize. All right, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you like what I'm doing on this channel, be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. You can support me and follow me over on Instagram. I might have one or two more videos of Penghu coming out. 
If you're in Taiwan, stay safe, jiao, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.